Yo, what's going on, my friends? So I want to talk about something that's so important for you as a entrepreneur, as a human being that wants to ascend and progress in life and reach your potential in your life, right? Change is not easy. Change is not easy, but it's essential. It's necessary to change how you operate in your day, who you show up as in your day for the world, for yourself, for your family. And really just how you how you function, how you view the world, how you walk, how you talk, how you speak, your tonality. Changing all of these things is very hard when your brain is so used to doing the same thing over and over and over again, right? It's repetitive motion that we just get stuck in that all the time. So you have to really push yourself. This video is for you if you've been doubting that you can actually transform any aspect of your life that you really want to. Uh, whether it's your confidence, how you speak, uh, how people perceive you really. Anything you want to change, it takes time. There's a, there's a, there's a, uh, a way of viewing things. There's a, it's, it's a concept, a Japanese concept called Kaizen. K-A-I-Z-E-N. And actually, Jason Capital talks about this a lot. He's a guy I follow very much. I go through a lot of his courses and his content to really help me change the way I think and show up in the world. And I suggest you do so as well. But he talks about something called Kaizen. And that is constant, never-ending improvement. Little tiny changes developed over time. If you take those small steps every single day, then you'll eventually become the person you want to be. You'll eventually reach your goal and have that outcome, whatever that outcome is in your life, whatever area of your life you're trying to achieve an outcome, you're going to eventually have that for yourself. But you have to take those small steps every single day. For a workout, that could be just lifting dumbbells a little bit. You know, for uh, creating a, a course, that could just be shooting the first video, right? Or brainstorming ideas for that course. Uh, for this video, all I had to think about was the simple concept of if you want to change anything in your life, it's going to be difficult. I'm just letting this flow right now. The first step with me was of me was just thinking about the video topic, right? Just take that first step. Change is hard if you think about the big picture, if you think about everything you have to do to achieve that initial final or that complete outcome, that final result you want to attain. That makes it really challenging when you when you try to slay that gargantuan beast with that little tiny sword instead of the giant sword that you'll eventually have when you truly level up. But to level up, you got to go through... You got to fight the smaller beasts, right? You got to fight your little battles so you're able to fight your bigger battles. You have to develop into that person over time. You be to have. You don't do you don't uh, you don't do things to to be something else. You be that person. You embody that person. You embody who you want to be in order to have that outcome. So start just changing who you are changing how you interact with the world. That'll change your mindset over time. And your physiology absolutely dictates your psychology. It will affect both. Both are completely synced together to where it will alter who you basically are. Okay? So, two things. Take those small steps and you'll eventually climb the mountain. You'll eventually reach the summit, right? And number two, be who you want to be. Be that person. Embody that person. Maybe think about different people that you want to, uh, that you really respect and admire in your life, whether it's you know, Jason Capital, whether it's uh, uh, Tony Robbins, Brian Burchard, uh, let's see, you got uh, Brad Pitt. Like, there's so many really great, you know, people that, that have a very good value on themselves and really have a good lot of confidence and really show up in the world as, you know, a better person than most, person than most, you know, more outgoing. And we all need that. We need, we need to be more outgoing, I believe, as a society in general. We need to connect more. We need to really just be more, embody, you know, there's a saying, be the change you want to see in the world, right? Be that change. And eventually 
you'll just basically alter your identity to become that change. You'll become that person. But it also just means taking those small little steps. It's very hard. Your brain wants to keep you safe. It wants to keep you comfortable. Anything you're doing outside your comfort zone, it, it, it's, it sounds the alarm in your amygdala. Your amygdala is your brain's fear response center. It's responsible for that inner voice, that inner negative voice telling you to stay safe, stay where you are, and do not venture out of the comfort zone into the courage zone. So you got the comfort zone, really small, you know, you're trapped inside of that, and then you have the courage zone, which is outside of that. And you gotta live on your edges. You gotta live on your edges and bet on yourself, right? Live in your courage zone. Push yourself every single day. Get a little bit stronger every single day and eventually you'll change into who you want to be.